I am very excited to show you what I've put into this new 3D printed nest and you're going to want to stick around to see what it is. This video is sponsored by Ant Keeping Depot. Click on the link in the description to check out their website. Well, before we introduce the colony into this nest, we need to do a bit of work. So I've put down a fine layer of sand here on the bottom, and I've also put some cocoa fiber, um, just to mix it up a little bit. And you will see shortly why that is needed. Now I've made sure that I haven't really put much sand over the hydration areas, because that'll just fall through those holes into the underside. So this is the colony that I currently have underneath this cover, and you can see the outworld I have here as well. Now you'll notice there are a couple of holes there, but don't be worried um, about those holes there at the front. I've taped them up, so it's all secure. So this is what I currently have, and they are in desperate need of a new nest. So I thought this nest here from Ant3D would be perfect. And here they are. Yep, it's a beautiful colony of bull ants. Now this is Mimesia brevinoda, very large bull ant species. And look at this colony, it's quite an established colony. Now if you haven't seen the video where um, we went and did a rescue dig of a colony that was going to be destroyed, this was one of the satellite colonies that was close by as well that needed to be removed. Again, it was going to have petrol poured on it and lit up. So I thought, well, let's just rescue this colony as well. And I thought I'll just have this one myself, which is really nice. So there's about 30 odd workers in here. Um, haven't identified a queen just yet, so we think it might be an ergotoid queen. A couple of eggs have been laid, and we've got some beautiful juicy larvae in there, which is fantastic. So the colony is doing quite well. Now one thing you will notice in this colony, in this particular species in fact, is the different size of the workers. There are some very fine small workers, and then we've got some really big ones. So it's pretty interesting. Now in regards to their size, it appears that the smaller workers will stay inside the nest and will tend to the brood, and the larger workers are the ones that will venture into the outworld and they'll go and collect the food for the colony, which does make sense. They're a lot bigger, they can tackle bigger prey and drag it back into the nest. Now Mimesia or bull ants, they're solitary hunters, so they'll go out by themselves to forage and collect. So they'll bring back uh, small things like maybe airwigs and crickets and the like, small little bits of uh, insects, and bring them back for the larvae to consume because the larvae need their protein, need a source of protein. And Mimesia, um, they cannot uh, drink the protein and bring it back and regurgitate it for their young, so they need to drag back the actual pieces of the insects or whole insects themselves. Now I wanted to share this with you because this is what you can see inside the nest. Here we've got a worker just cleaning over the larvae. So they'll be using uh, their saliva and that, and it's probably antibacterial, just to make sure they're nice and clean, keeping them moist. Um, you don't want the larvae drying out at all. So that's why they've dragged that larvae down over the hydration area so they can get that uh, moisture that's evaporating up from underneath. And then they go around and they're cleaning, constantly cleaning and making sure the larvae are moist. So I had to share that with you as well. Okay, so I've connected up the new 3D nest here. You can see just plugged straight into this other one, which is a bit of a custom sort of Waitong nest. Um, so hopefully this transfer will go well. We'll see how long it takes. So I'm going to expose one side on the right there to the light, and then on the left, cover up and make it nice and dark in the new nest. And hopefully they'll be able to transfer. So we can see a few of the workers just cautiously having a look out here. Now they're quite sensitive. They'll be able to smell the different uh, pheromones in the air um, from themselves, but also things that I've left behind as well, just oils on your finger and things like that, the different smell of the nest, um, because each colony has their, their scent uh, in the nest. So we've got a little one there, just having a little bit of an explore as well outside. So it's going to be interesting just to see how long before they do transfer over. But you can see just the size of these ants. Now some of the larger workers will get over 30, 30 to 35 millimeters long. So an inch to an inch and a half long, some of the large workers. And that is a huge, huge ant. 
Now, Mimesia are known for their incredible eyesight. They'll definitely be able to track you around the room uh, when you start to get close. So it's quite scary when you walk into the room and all the ants just start to watch you. But they're an amazing species and I'm so glad that I've got a, an established colony like this to be able to show you guys and share with you. Now this is the Brevinoda uh, species of the genus Mimesia and they are one of the larger ones of the bull ants. So inside the nest here we can see, I thought I'd just share this with you, it looks like one of the larvae is having a bit of trouble spinning its cocoon. So that's part of why I want to transfer them into this new nest and I've got some of that cocoa fibre in there so they can use it as a bit of a scaffold to build um, that cocoon around them. Um, and that can be a little bit of a difficulty when you are keeping um, Amicia ants. Okay, so I've given it a bit of time and I've come back and had a look and yeah, it looks like they are moving in. You can see the worker there at the top dragging the larvae. And it's interesting that they've taken the larvae down to the hydration uh, grill in this nest. So I guess the evaporation of the moisture is coming up, it keeps that larvae nice and moist. So the transfer is going well, we'll leave it and we'll see how they go. Let's come back and have another look. This was the next day. And look at that, they've transferred over completely. And all the larvae there are stuffed in the back in a couple of, of the chambers. And it's a beautiful design, this nest. If you haven't checked out the video on the Ants 3D Nest, please go and have a look at that. So you can see um, where they've located in the nest, which is really interesting. Now what I've done off the side here, off this nest, I've used one of the other exits out of this nest into their outworld. And I'll show you a little bit inside the outworld what I've done. I've given that a bit of a refresh, refresh and a bit of a clean up. Um, which I think is well overdue. So we'll have a little bit of a closer look as well. Okay, let's have a little bit of a look. So this is the setup. I've still got the old nest attached and I'm going to leave it like that for a little while uh, just to see how they go. It gives them a bit of a choice. I don't want to stress the colony out. They have the choice then of where they want to go. So off the new 3D nest here, we can see I've got that tube in that goes into the outworld. So let's have a closer look at that outworld. Um, let's see what I've done there. So I've just put a bit more sand down. I've also broken up some of that cocoa fiber and put it in the outworld. Then if they want to collect any more and bring it inside, they've got that option. Now I've got the water feeder there in the middle as well, just to keep that water supply up to them. And then at the back there, you can see the honey tray for some honey. And at the front, I've just got a piece of paper, which I put some sugar water solution on. Um, it's given them a little bit of an option of what to drink. And then I can just put live crickets into their outworld and just they can kill them, collect them when they need them to feed the brood. And by the looks of it, they're going to need quite a few. So they're settling nicely into this nest and looks like they're really enjoying it, which is fantastic. It's always good to see when your colony is doing well. Now they haven't got much out there on the sandy areas at the top. And in fact, they've moved the sand out of that middle chamber uh, pretty much completely. So that's really interesting to see as well. Just they build the nest how they want to. It makes them uh, comfortable. So very, very happy that they've made that transfer over from the old nest, which to me shows that this nest suits them a lot better. Now you'll see the workers there, they'll go across and have a look at the old nest as well. And I'll just show you inside there and you can still see that it's there and there's a few workers just hanging out in that nest. So that's fine. I'll leave it attached for the moment and we'll just see how they go. I hope you've enjoyed this look at this new colony that I have finally been able to reveal it. Wanted to make sure they were nice and comfortable before I did. I really appreciate you watching this. Please hit that thumbs up button and share this video with as many people as you can. Enjoy the journey. For as little as $1 a month, you can support the channel and you'll get early access to videos, behind the scenes information and plenty of other perks on different levels as well. So I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much. So a huge thank you to my Patreons. Thank you Medical Carcass 9, Ants 3D, John Redwood, and K Single, and all the other Patreons. Thank you so much for your support of Novo Ants. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up as well while you're there. On your screen, you'll see a video recommended for you by YouTube. And also, there's one that I've picked that you might enjoy. I appreciate you watching and happy ant keeping.